Liam, Rogue, Hazelnut, Brown Nectar, on First Taste Beer Reviews with Jason. Ale with natural hazelnut flavor. All right. Oh, this is dedicated to Chris Studock and home brewers everywhere. Chris Studock. All right. Don't know who that is, but I will drink this beer dedicated to you, buddy. A, a nutty twist to a traditional European brown ale. Dark brown in color with a hazelnut aroma, a rich nutty flavor, and a smooth malty finish. Sounds pretty good. I do like brown ales. This is 5.6% ABV, 33 IBUs, 38 SRM. Which that, I believe, SRM is the color spectrum of beer. The higher the number, the darker the beer. 38 being pretty close to the darkest. I think it only goes to 40. 0 to 40, something like that. Anyway, I hope that's right. I'm not going to look it up right now. If it's not right, I'm sure somebody will tell me. Oh, look at this. Pair it with grilled cheese sandwich, pork chops, bread pudding. I've heard about bread pudding. Never had bread pudding. And when I know about it, I don't know. Uh oh. Well, that was a good first taste. All right, that did not go as expected. That was an interesting first taste. Mostly foam, but from what I can tell you, it's pretty nutty. And it was a nutty scene. Let's pour it up and do a, uh, a better first taste, which none of my first tastes are, are really great. That actually might have been the best one. All right, and there she is dark brown in color not 38 on the SRM scale but to me from what I'm seeing it does not look like the darkest beer that I've seen and 38 is pretty high maybe it doesn't end at 40 maybe it goes higher than that but anyway ooh, wow a strong hazelnut aroma Wow, that is good. I love hazelnut, too. Very. This might be my favorite smelling beer. If I could put this in a candle and light it, mmm, that'd be good. All right, now let's, let's taste it for the second taste. Second taste with Jason. I'm going to do that again. Hmm. I tried to inhale some of that aroma through my nose as I was taking a drink. <clears throat> and it made this taste really good. This might be my uh, favorite, new favorite brown ale. Which really, my probably only one real experience with brown ale that I can recall right now. I might have tried some on this channel, I don't know. I've... I guess my memory sucks in that department. All the alcohol. Um, Newcastle. Newcastle Brown Ale is good. And this is way better. It has a, a nutty, hazelnutty taste, too. Flavor. It is kind of bitter, though. After the initial hazelnut taste and smell... You, you, you realize, yeah, this is a little bit bitter, but it's not overwhelmingly bitter to make you think, I'm not drinking that again, because it tastes good. Man, I just love the smell of it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Excuse me. It just smells delicious. It smells better than it tastes. I've probably said that about a few beers, but this one really does smell better than it tastes, but it also tastes very good. So that says a lot about how good it smells. Okay, enough about how, that, how good it smells. That's just weird. 
Oh, well, now that I've drank half the can, I'll stop and just tell you. Hazelnutty flavor for sure. Brown nectar. It is good. Robe. Hazelnut brown nectar. Very good beer. Toffee and nutty. They got like a little flavor chart there. Heavy on the nutty. Heavy on the toffee. Somewhat heavy on the malt. Not very heavy on the bitter. According to that. I'm trying to see it. Alright, bitter is like over over here somewhere. Or over there. But I would beg to differ. It does have a lot of bitter flavor to it. But not so much where it's not good. Anyway, I'm rambling because that's good beer. Thanks for watching First Day's Beer Reviews with Jason. Goodbye.